In this video, I'm going to be converting my humble Kent Ridgeland bike into a gravel racer. So in a couple videos back or a few videos back, you may have seen that I tried to put on 29er inch uh, mountain bike tires onto this bike onto this rim. It kind of sort of worked, but not that great. But I'm still glad that I made the video because some people in the comments said, hey, actually that same company, Bell, sells some even cheaper uh, 40 millimeter actual commuter slash gravel tires that'll probably work much better. So I returned to the Walmart tires, ordered these on Amazon. By, by the way, I'll put a link to them in the description. And yeah, they fit a lot better. These are perfect. They're 40 millimeter. They're like the perfect gravel tire for this application. And they're only 15 bucks each, so super cheap. So anyway, that's where we are today. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and do the last thing really needed to turn this thing, in my opinion, into a real gravel racer. And that's a port course, put some drop bars on it. And I think I have almost all the parts I need to go ahead and do this job. Let me show you. First, and most importantly, some drop bars. Oh, and about this bike, and why am I even building this? Well, of course for fun, whoa, almost dropped that. Of course for fun, but also I have a race set up. Uh, what is it, January 10th, so that's like a month from now. I'm gonna be racing this bike down in Southeast Florida, I think around, um, no, Fort Lauderdale. It's got like a Fort Lauderdale gravel race, it's crazy. I signed up for it, I paid the money. I don't even know what it's called, but it's around 50 miles and it is an actual gravel race, or, or at least a ride. I'm not 100% sure if it's a race, but it will be timed, so it's a race. Next thing I got, again from Amazon, some pretty cheap brake levers. These are obviously not having the shifters because this, this is a single speed bike. Next thing I have some bar tape. <clears throat> actually got this at AliExpress. I used this on my, my Schwinn and I actually like them. So I got another couple. Uh, the only thing I'm missing, and I'll have to go ahead and order that, are the brake cables. And hopefully I can reuse the housing. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I can reuse the housing, but I need to get cables. Anyway, that's too much rambling. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. And by the way, if you guys are interested in a full cost breakdown, knowing exactly how much each part costs and where I got it, stick around till the end and I'll be going over that too. Wow, that has to be like the most comfortable bike I've ever rode. That's really nice actually.
All right, well, the build is complete, and honestly, I couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. I think looks-wise, it's extremely good-looking for a cheap Walmart bike. Uh, functionality, well, I don't know that much, but I did kind of spin, take a spin around the block, and it, it rides really comfortably with these big tires, these high-up handlebars. I really like the way it rides even a lot more than I did before I switched to the drop bars. Um, it's pretty heavy. Weight-wise, it is 12.7 kilograms. Okay, now let's go over the full cost breakdown. I'm gonna tell you exactly how much it'll cost you to build this exact bike. I'm gonna do it with new parts and with used parts. Okay, to start off with the bike itself, this is $98 at Walmart. With tax, it might be like 105, whatever your tax is. So let's just say 100 bucks for the bike. I bought mine used though for 60, so 60 used. I see these all the time for 60 or, or even less used. So 60 for the bike or 100 for the bike. It's the original seat, the original seat post. I'm here using actually the original stem, quill stem. Now the bars, I actually just had laying around. I see these all the time for like 20 bucks used. You can even get them new, I think on Amazon for around 25. So let's say 25 new, let's say 30 new to be conservative, uh, 20 used again to be conservative. These, um, these brake levers, 15, Actually, I need to check it, but I believe they're $15 new. So that's $15 for the brake levers. Uh, the cables, I bought these, the whole kit, for, I want to say, $10. 10 bucks. I'll put on the screen what the real price is if I'm wrong. Uh, so I, didn't, I did need to get some new cables to work with the, uh, the drop bar brake levers. It's, it's a different ending piece, so you do need new cables. That's not much, but you have to count it. Um, I mostly reused the housing. There was a bit of housing I needed to to adapt that I just had laying around. So honestly, if you are starting from scratch, you may need to buy a little bit of housing too. You know, let's just say five bucks on top of it. I am using the original brake calipers, the original brake pads, front and back. Bar tape I got from AliExpress, that was about five bucks shipped. Again, I'll put the real price and the real product right on the screen for you. Next up is the wheels. They're the factory wheels as well as the fork. Now the tires I did replace, you can reuse the old inner tubes. I do happen to have some different ones in because I punctured the others, but you should be able to use the old inner tubes as well. Tires were $15 a piece, shipped from Amazon.com, they're Bell brand, 40 millimeter. The rear uh, cog is original, but the chain I actually had to replace because I needed a bigger chain to go with this bigger chain ring. I don't remember the price, but I'll put it up on the screen for you right here, probably around $10. The pedals themselves, Typically these uh, Shimano SPD 520s, I think uh, new might be around $40. I would never pay more than 20 or 25 uh, for these used. These particular ones, I think I paid 15 used. The crank set itself, I got a really good deal on that. I think I paid 10 or $15 used. Otherwise, if you buy it new, maybe 35. Um, but I, I have never been able to find this exact one for sale anymore. Uh, like on Amazon or anything like that. I'll, I'll throw something up as similar as I can find on the screen so you can see that. But that's about it for this build in terms of cost. Really inexpensive. Uh, for me, I think I paid around 175 if I added everything up together. Uh, if you want to build your own, you can probably do it for yeah about the same one. I'd say all this together is going to cost you about $175. Uh, maximum $250, I, I guess, if you you know buy some of the newer parts and, and whatnot. Anyway, so for about, what, $175, $250, you can build the exact same bike. You could even improve on it, or you could, you know, use the original crank and save a little bit of money. Um, anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Right now, I'm about to take it out for a spin, do, do a few photos. And uh, next time you see this bike will probably be when I'm actually racing it down in Fort Lauderdale. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks, everybody, for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.